I'm Miss B. And if you caught my last video, I was telling you about my daughter and how she's driving me crazy. And tonight, I'm going to be telling you about my lesson plans for next week. So, in my previous episodes, I was talking about What Time Is It, Mr. Fox, which is a great recess tag game. Today, I'm going to tell you about another recess classic called Kickball. Now, I think it's kind of funny when we actually have subs come in. Um, it's one of the games that they try and do with the kids, and they don't realize that kickball has a lot of rules. And a lot of kids don't know how to play kickball anymore because they don't go outside and play it. Um, so I'm going to show you my setup for kids in elementary school, more like your first grade through fifth grade. And then I'm going to show you my setup for preschool, which is modified a lot to make sure that they're still getting the concepts, like the little main concepts, um, so that they can later on work their way up to, um, you know, using all of the classic rules that we use with our fifth graders as well as middle school students. So here we go. Here is my setup for elementary school kickball for students in grades first through fifth. Let's take a look at a basic elementary setup for kickball, starting with home plate. If you notice, I have home plate, the pitcher's mound, first base, second base, shortstop, and third base, all marked with yellow spots. I have the outfield marked with blue spots. The cones that I use for kickball are the largest cones that I can find so that kids feel comfortable either touching the base with their foot or touching the base with their hand as they run by. I find that this helps a lot with making sure the kids know where they're running and also for me to gauge whether they are in or out during the game. In the bottom left, you'll see that there is a lineup of kickers and what I'll do before the game even starts is I will give those kickers a kicking order from one to five or one to 10, depending on how many kids you have. That order is also used to tell them where to go for their fielding positions. Because the spot markers are different color, I can say numbers one through four go to the infield yellow, numbers five through eight go to the outfield blue. The following inning, I'll switch those positions so that each kid gets a chance to play infield and each kid gets a chance to play outfield. It also helps that when they come back up to kick, you can either say start at the top of the order or start where you guys left off. If number three did not kick yet, you guys are starting with number three. For grades one through three, I'll play classic rules with little modifications, maybe taking out the complex stuff like infield flies. But for the most part, they can play the classic kickball rules. Let's take a look at this slide to see some of my tips and tricks as far as playing with grades one through five. Also, stay tuned for a video to see my setup on how you can modify with preschoolers as well as kindergarten. Let's take a look at my setup for preschool and kindergarten. You'll notice there's a lot less equipment and spots. In these grade levels, I'll tell the kickers that they are to kick the ball and run through first as fast as they can. That's their job. 
and then they'll go to the back of the line and wait their turn. The fielders will retrieve the ball and return it to home plate for the next kicker. Every so often, I will change out the fielders and the kickers. Here are some tips and tricks from my experience when working with my youngest students age three through five. Thank you for joining us here at Be In The Game. Be sure to subscribe and check back weekly for new games and activities.